Several years ago, the grass alfalfa was substantially reduced in the northeastern United States due to a killer pest called alfalfa weevil. Now, alfalfa was a very essential produce in the grasslands of the United States as it was grown as fodder for cattle and also helped increase agricultural efficiency as it was a leguminous plant. Realizing the importance of diminishing alfalfa and to combat the alfalfa weevil terror, natural enemies of the pest, such as a small wasp called Bathyplectus and lady beetles, were introduced. Sometimes, farmers went to the extent of importing such beneficial insects from far-off countries like China to check the weevil pestilence. This use of biological methods to control plant diseases and pests is called biological pest control. Whereas the beneficial organisms nurtured to deal with pests are known as biocontrol agents. This biocontrol method, which relies on natural predation, is in stark contrast to the modern day practice of dealing with insects and pests with toxic chemicals such as pesticides and insecticides. Not only are these chemicals harmful to human beings, animals and the environment since they pollute soil and groundwater with their toxicity, but they are also expensive for farmers, especially in developing countries like India. Recently, after a spate of suicides by Indian farmers in the Vidarbha region of Maharashtra due to failed crops and debts, scientists suggested organic farming as a means of smart agriculture that would also save them from spending money on chemicals like insecticides, pesticides and weedicides. The principle of organic farming lies in biodiversity. The greater the variety of flora and fauna in the fields, the more sustainable is farming. Therefore, in organic farming, insects and pests are not always completely eradicated. Rather, they are kept at manageable levels within the living ecosystem. At times, Eradication of pests is actually undesirable because several beneficial predatory and parasitic insects depend on them as food or hosts for their survival. Organic farming, in other words, is an attempt to create a living, vibrant and natural ecosystem in the fields by using natural green manure, compost, organic insecticides, fertilizers and biological pest control methods and limiting the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. Organic farming therefore requires an understanding of various interactions that take place between different flora and fauna that live in the fields. Also, it is important to possess detailed knowledge of the different life forms that live in the fields, their life cycles, feeding patterns and preferable habitats. Such knowledge of life around the field helps implement biocontrol of pests. For instance, insects such as the lady beetle also known as the ladybird, can be used to eliminate aphids, whereas dragonflies can stamp out mosquitoes. Keeping facts like this in mind, beneficial insects that serve as biocontrol agents are conserved under an Integrated Pest Management or IPM program.
IPM is an integrated approach to crop management to solve ecological problems relating to agriculture. It provides an efficient solution to organic farming since it involves biological controls. For example, you may have heard of Bt cotton and Bt brinjal in the news. Did you know that Bt stands for the bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis? Bt is a microbial biocontrol agent that is introduced into fields to control butterfly caterpillars. Bt is available as dried spores which are mixed with water and sprayed on plants such as brassicas that are under attack from insect larvae. When insect larvae consume the spores or crystals of this bacteria, the alkaline pH of their gut activates the cryotoxin present in the bacterial spores, which ultimately kills the larvae. These toxins in Bt are insect specific and therefore do not harm other organisms. The biocontrol agent Bt is also used to develop genetically modified Bt crops such as Bt cotton and Bt brinjal by introducing Bt genes into cotton and brinjal plants respectively with the help of genetic engineering. These crops then become resistant to attack by insect pests. Another natural insecticide called pyrethrum, extracted from the flower head of Chrysanthemum cinerarii folium, is used in organic farming practices. Moreover, due to the insecticidal properties of the plant, it is also sometimes grown near crops to repel insects such as aphids and leafhoppers. Likewise, a free-living fungus called trichoderma, which is very common in plant roots, acts as a biocontrol agent for various plant pathogens. In addition, baculoviruses of genus Nucleopolyhedrovirus are used as biocontrol agents for insects and other arthropods. These viruses have an additional advantage as they are species specific. They do not harm other plants, mammals or other non-target insects. Such biocontrol agents are especially desirable in IPM programs or when an ecologically sensitive area is being treated. In this manner, biocontrol agents play a dual role by helping in organic farming and maintaining a balance in the ecosystem.